Hi, my name is Emily Robinson and I am a graduating thesis student in the textile design department at Thomas Jefferson University and my concentration is in weaving. The title of my thesis is Grids, Stripes and Checks, Gingham, Reimagined for Contemporary Homes. This thesis explores the historical and societal parallels between domesticity and gingham, a traditional textile pattern, and their current relevance in regards to the COVID-19 pandemic. In this presentation, I will be explaining this concept, some of the research and process work I did, and the final textile collection I have created for my master's thesis. I first started noticing a trend in how domesticity is being approached in a modern way through Instagram. I kept coming across these accounts that really romanticize this idea and lifestyle that is natural, slow, and super domestic. These women's accounts that I focused on all had a lot in common in that they are in their 30s, have young children, and all have the means and grit to opt out of a traditional 40-hour work week to live this life or to make a living off of their homesteads and things they create. They are gardeners, fashion designers, and writers who have a passion for traditional domestic skills. These women can all be considered influencers as they all partner with brands that reflect their values and lifestyles and offer advertisements for their goods. I began to see an opportunity for a textile collection that would be used by these women and subsequently their many social media followers that would honor not only their aesthetic, but their lifestyles and values. At the same time, I was super interested in how many artists, weavers, and designers were giving traditional ginghams and plaids new life through color and pattern. This got me thinking about how I could reimagine gingham, and then how gingham and domesticity are so connected to each other in America. Through my research, I found that gingham has become a fashionable trend during times of distress in America. The pattern itself is inherently domestic. For centuries, the pattern has been seen in curtains, tablecloths, and aprons in homes all over the country. Pop culture references, think Dorothy's dress in The Wizard of Oz, became a symbol for desperately trying to get back home. These instances cause gingham to be what some refer to as a psychological safety net. The pattern feels familiar, nostalgic, and undeniably domestic. Simultaneously, history has shown that during times of instability in America, having domestic skills becomes much more important and prevalent. When Americans have to rely on themselves for survival, the skills to do so become essential. This is all very relevant to our current times in a global pandemic. Americans are less trusting of the government than maybe ever before, and with so much more time being spent at home due to local government restrictions, learning how to bake bread, darn a sock, or start your own backyard garden became popular things to do. The aforementioned Instagram accounts acted to me as a culmination of these trends. I started putting my ideas of modern domesticity and a reinvented gingham, as well as the aesthetic of my target market together, and created this mood board to convey the feeling I wanted my textiles to have. Simple, nostalgic, cozy, and useful textiles that feature earthen, plant-based colors like terracotta oranges and dusty jade greens. My goal was to reimagine gingham for this contemporary domestic home. To begin bringing my concept to life, I started by collaging and mark making. I collaged gridded paper as a play on the grid traditional gingham makes. I also used paint to stamp and render grids so the designs would have a handmade look. The next step in my initial ideation was exploring different ways to achieve gingham and the appearance of gingham through changes in color, density, and material materiality across handmade textiles. Here are some sketchbook pages to give you a peek into how I went about planning some of the hand wovens you will see next. The following photos are some of the textiles I created through hand weaving. I use color, materiality, dimension, and negative space to abstract, alter, and play with the grids, stripes, and checks of the traditional gingham pattern. Next are the textiles I created through weaving on the jacquard looms. These pieces I use the marks and collages I made early on in the design process to again reimagine what gingham could be in a textile.
Next, I really wanted to create handwoven vessels. I was most inspired by the generic brown paper grocery bag and wanted to create my own versions that would be constructed almost entirely on a loom. In, in keeping with the target market's values, these pieces are all woven with natural yarns and meant to be used over and over again. Here are some images of the collection altogether. These photos highlight the color palette, variety of pattern, texture, and material, as well as the usefulness of the textile. To further illustrate my concept, I have placed a few of the textiles into domestic spaces where I imagine they would belong. Note the antique decor and the well-loved nature of these homes and the furniture in them. Lastly, I wanted to end by giving some insight into the personal reasons this concept was so important to me. I was raised in a family with a lot of women who were and are incredibly domestic. My grandmother has four aunts, eight sisters, as seen in the photo on the left, three daughters, and now five granddaughters. These women are known within our family and occasionally their local communities for things like sewing fabulous dresses. My grandmother can be seen in a homemade dress in the middle photo. Creating one-of-a-kind baby quilts, delicious apricot thumbprint cookies, the best fried chicken you've ever had, and a coleslaw recipe that cannot be replicated. In my family, being domestic was never seen as oppressive, but rather the catalyst for family gatherings, memorable meals, and sentimental objects. I learned how to hand stitch around the same time I learned how to write, and I've been cooking and baking ever since I could hold a spoon and stir, as you can see in the picture on the right. Having this perception of domesticity and creating things with my hands my whole life has played a large role in me pursuing textiles as a career path and ultimately creating this thesis. Thank you so much for watching this presentation. You can follow along and see more of my work on Instagram at Texas underscore hands and at m-robinson.com.